This is the high school that I went to. I ended up having to do this as a YouTube video because when I kept trying to do Facebook Live, there's just not a good signal within the boundaries of this campus, so I couldn't do it. Uh, Long Beach Polytechnic High School. If I can get a video of outside, I will. I'm just gonna kind of pause and stop and start. Um, it's called the Home of Scholars and Champions. And I know, and this is the quad wrangle. This is the quad area where the kids would all hang out and um, eat lunch. And, you know, we hung out here before school and after school to say, you know, the rose bush bushes are still here. Um, over there is a, uh, a little stage platform uh, where we used to, um, uh, the cheerleaders, I'm, and I'm sure they still do, where the cheerleaders um, go to, to, um, let me see if I can get this to, nope, I can't get it to do that. Anyways, where the cheerleaders would uh, go to um, uh, do their pep rallies and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see if I can turn it this way so I can talk to you as well. So um, this was a great place for me to go to high school. And even though I didn't graduate from here, I graduated from D.H. Hickman High School in Columbia, Missouri. My parents, um, uh, we moved from Long Beach to Columbia, Missouri when it was time for my dad to start working on his master's and his Ph.D and the University of Missouri Columbia is where he ended up going. So um, I wasn't able to spend my senior year here, but this place was so formative for me. Um, I made incredible relationships. Um, from the time I was in kindergarten through high school, I was, um, I, was, I was tested as gifted and talented when I was in kindergarten. So yes, I'm exactly as smart as you think I am. And when I went to school here, um, I was a part of the PACE program. I can't remember what the E was, but it was like the program for advanced curricular or something or some, a program for accelerated curriculum and something, but it's been 20 plus years. But this was just such a great place to, to grow. Um, this is the little clock we have class of, from class of 93. The sign up, sit up there says, we live in deeds, not in years. In thoughts, not in breaths, in feelings, not in figures on a dial. And like, th this was just such an incredible place for me to be. So at some point I'm gonna walk inside the building and see what kind of pictures I can take. But just to be able to be in here, I went in the back, I'm gonna walk back there, do more video. Like, um, I I'm not gonna walk the whole time or talk the whole time I'm walking, but I'm gonna walk to the area in the back. But this was just like a really, incredible place for me to be at and to grow as a young woman and the way that the teachers invested in us in our education and like as an educator myself because I've been teaching for 13 years I get so tired of people talking bad about teachers because they don't realize what teachers are dealing with as far as children and students and their character and how the culture has changed and when I went to school I mean, kids that were disrespectful to teachers and things like that, they got sent home. Like, it wasn't tolerated. You got a paddle, you got suspended. And the less accountability they have for kids, it's just, just awful. So, it's unfortunate. But anyways, this is the one of the little eating areas, little cafeteria outside. So, I remember I was on free lunch and I would come up here with my little uh, tickets. I don't know if y'all remember the ticket booklets, but maybe I might be walking and talking while I'm going back here. I have my little tickets and uh, I would rip my little ticket off for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday and eat whatever little bit of lunch it was that they uh, provided. And I, I, I loved it here. It was just an incredible place to be. Let me see if I can remember the names of the, my core group of friends here. Cause I would, because I was um, a nerd and this is uh, the Jack Rabbits class of 95 which would have been my graduating class that I did not make it to but this is from the classes I would have been the class of 1995 um, but uh, let me see if I can remember the names of the friends I had when I was here uh, it was Steve Walter Marlin Anitra and I'm forgetting some, and Aaron. Those are the names of my close core group of friends. Um, I remember having a friend that I, um, she was my best friend when we were in school, in uh, middle school when I moved out here, and I'm not gonna say her name, but um, we both played basketball in middle school. 
And I remember um, I wanted to audition for the basketball team here at Poly because the athletics here are incredible. Not only, I was talking about being a nerd, not only did I build these incredible relationships with all the nerdy kids and, you know, in the PACE program, and then, you know, also building relationships with, you know, kids in my regular education classes, but also building relationships with, with athletes because I played basketball and did track. And I remember asking her when the uh, tryouts were for the basketball team. And she told me when the tryouts were. And I showed up on that day and the coaches were like, the, um, the tryouts were yesterday. And all I could think, and this it ended our friendship because I asked her, you told me that the tryouts were on this day. And I trusted you. And at the very least, even if you had made a mistake and the tryouts weren't on the day that you said, when you noticed I wasn't there, why wouldn't you find a phone and call me and say, Teresa, the, um, the auditions are today, the tryouts are today. So it was a really painful, it was a painful experience. And, uh, you know, Pastor Evans always talks about things, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that was a really ugly moment in my life. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be the first, but it's what it was. So anyways, this is some more of the campus. That was a relatively new parking garage when I got here. Um, oh, I got distracted. I'm supposed to be walking to the, uh, walking to the athletic area. So anyways, I'm gonna press pause right here. I'm gonna walk out there to the, um, to the stadium area because the school got a new stadium and I'm just gonna show real fast and then I'm gonna record it a little bit more and then I'm gonna get the heck up off of here. Oh, I forgot. I was making all that comment about even though I didn't graduate from here that I still kind of claim this because, again, like I was saying before, it was such a formative place for me. So, you know, even though I had great experiences when I was at D.H. Hickman, you know, you guys, whoever, whatever three people watch this know that I'm a very, you know, or I used to be at least a very extroverted, outgoing person, you know, life of the party. People used to ask me all the time, you know, even even as a a young person college age are you drunk I'm like no this is just me <laughs> this is just who I am and at 41 years old I'm still the same way when, when I'm in that great right kind of mood but um yeah okay pause again so this is the back side of the athletic complex people you know the kids would hang out here um after school during lunch as well those are the new bleachers they look exactly like the old bleachers but they're new and this is where the ROTC classrooms were at back here so you can see all of this stuff on the wall and I'm pretty sure that this truck right here that is sitting here was probably here back when I was going to school here is that old so this is the new stadium now, when I went to school here, there were girls that were like going to the Olympic track trials and all kind of stuff. And it took them 20 plus years to get a new stadium, which is absolutely ridiculous. I guess they're about to do a skirmish. I just think this is really cool, but this is the new, uh, their new stadium. Now those bleachers are the same size as they were when I went to school here, and they're really too small. They really need to add some bleachers. Because this school is always known for its athletics and its academics. So as I'm coming back, one of the things that was so cool about going to school here that is very lacking, unfortunately, in DFW um, was the diversity. At, in Long Beach Poly, there were white students, black students, Asian students, uh, Polynesian students. We had a lot of students uh, from Samoa, coolest people, coolest people. But you could come to Poly and be able to experience so much cultural diversity. So being in Dallas and thinking that it's Dallas, this, I'm telling you, this place was so formative because when I got to Columbia, Missouri, it's Columbia, Missouri. So it was mostly, it was predominantly white at the high school that I went um, when I was there. And like I said, I, I grew up, you know, I was spent my first 11 years of life in Trenton, New Jersey, lived in Long Beach, California, went to Missouri so being in 
you know, the East Coast and the West Coast, very diverse environment. So I was used to, I'm used to being around different kinds of people. But there was a level of diversity here at Long Beach Polytechnic that was magical. Oh, so my friends that I told you about, Anitra and Marlene were both black girls. And Walter was a black boy. Aaron was a white boy. And Stephen was a Japanese boy. So even with my circle of friends back at that time, we were all just mixed match and we just loved each other and hung out and enjoyed one another and had such a great time. And that was the dynamic here. Um, I don't remember being in school and there being racial tension between the black kids and the Hispanic kids. Um, Cause honestly, as a, as a teacher, I see a lot of black kids being bullied when the predominant amount of students on the campus are Hispanic. I, that's what I see. Um, you know, I don't see the white kids didn't pick on the black kids. We didn't have all this this racial stuff and kids doing blackface. We just it, it just it wasn't there. I didn't have that dynamic here when I was in California, like some of the things that go on in Dallas. So, like I said, that's why this place is just just coming back here and walking around here. It just feels like home. So um, I'm going to take pictures. So I could have some pictures. Oh, let me see if this building is open. Pause. The building is open. I am so excited. But nobody's here, so of course I'll come back. I wish that I could say that I was on one of these little things, but I am not. If I had actually enjoyed uh, track and field and the, uh, the races, as much as I enjoyed, uh, as much as I enjoyed uh, actually running, then uh, maybe I would be in these hollowed walls. But this is so cool. Wow. The coolness is astounding. I'm going to pause it unless I see something that applies to me. So they're about to lock up, and Ayana has called me twice. So uh, I'm going to come back up here tomorrow and see if there's anybody that uh, might have been here when I was here. So let me go ahead and stop on this video because I think it's like 12 minutes already anyway. So hope you've enjoyed for anybody that was patient enough to watch this whole thing. I'm going to get some pictures.